Good day, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. This is an urgent message, and very important. Do not joke with this message, act upon whatsoever was instructed. Listen to it to the end for your discernment. An urgent message from Papa God to Father Mark Goring, God's blessings are entangled with each one of your smiles. To ensure that as many people as possible see this video, kindly take a moment to share this video and subscribe to this channel. Before coming to the main part of this video, let's join us and pray together. God bless you. All, let us pray, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil, Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you, blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of your womb Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death, Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and enkindle in them the fire of your divine love. Send forth your Spirit that we be created and you renew the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit instructed the hearts of the faithful, grant that by the same Holy Spirit we may be truly wise and always enjoy your consolations through Christ our Lord, Amen. Urgent Message from God the Father to Father Mark Goring on the Illumination of Consciences, February 28, 2024, My beloved daughter, this message is very important and I want it to reach the ends of the world. It is an ultimatum for humanity because the day of my just wrath will come and it will fall without remedy on the whole earth. But before that, I will send my last work of mercy to every people, race, and nation, and I want to prepare my people for this event of universal nation. It is the last message I send as a preparation for the illumination of conscience. I want you as a faithful remnant to be the support of all your brothers and sisters on the day of the illumination of consciences. Therefore, you will prepare yourselves to support, together with my arms, all humanity. You as pillars of this humanity and as apostles of the end times, you will support, together with my loving arms, all your other brethren. The warning will come sooner than planned because I cannot support sin. I must not put at risk the pious and good souls who prostrate themselves every day before my presence to give me glory. Listen to this faithful remnant, you as the support of all humanity will do the following, you will bend your knees every day before a dying Jesus Christ at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, all at the same hour. After praying the chaplet to the Divine Mercy, you will pray the Rosary to the most precious blood of my Son. In the next two weeks beginning on Monday, March 4th, they will be two intense weeks because you as a faithful remnant will support all humanity on the day of the illumination of consciences. During these two weeks, you will fast so that the warning will be fulfilled three times a week and at 3 o'clock p.m. In the afternoon, all of you as a faithful remnant will pray the chaplet to Divine Mercy, the chaplet to the most precious blood of my Son, the chaplet of the Nine Angelic Choir of St. Michael the Archangel. In the evenings at 9 p.m. at night, they will pray the 24 hours of the Passion of Luisa Picaretta for the conversion and salvation of all sinners. In the mornings at 8 a.m. in the morning, they would offer the rosary so that in the illumination of consciences, many souls will be saved and converted. The illumination of consciences is already coming to humanity, therefore, as a faithful remnant, you must pray the prayers and be the support of all your brothers and sisters. You together with my beloved Son Jesus Christ will support with these prayers all humanity in those terrible moments where you will see your consciences and souls as I see them. It is very important that the children also participate in these prayers. They are two weeks of arduous preparation so that all humanity can be sustained in these terrible moments through which it will pass. I trust in you as my faithful remnant and the support of humanity. This message is very important and I want it to reach all the ends of the world because you are the support of all your brothers, my pillars, the support of all of heaven. Unite as faithful remnant as my army. These two weeks will be decisive in the history of humanity because of your preparation as faithful remnant. 
will depend on the conversions and salvation of souls. I need your support as faithful remnant. This hour is decisive in the history of humanity. I need you as my warriors. The gates of hell want to take many souls to hell and I will not allow it. Therefore, I need you as a faithful remnant. I ask you to bend your knees and dress yourselves in sackcloth. The salvation of many souls will depend on you and on these two decisive weeks. Therefore, I ask you to take very seriously these indications that I am giving you today. And I also want to give you the Virgin Mary of Guadalupe for her apocalyptic representation as the leader and captain of this faithful remnant. From today, she will direct and prepare you in these two weeks and through her intercession as Queen of all mankind, she will help us in this great event. You will support together with the Virgin Mary all your brothers and sisters on the day of the illumination of consciences. Open your souls to the inspiration of the Holy Holy Spirit and follow the path that He will show each one of you according to your missions. These are my instructions days before the illumination of consciences, abide by them and put them into practice. The salvation of many souls will depend on you by faithful remnant, unite in a single heart that beats in unison with the heart of the Most Holy Trinity. I await you to reward you with great gifts and graces on the day of the illumination of consciences. I, your father Yahweh Marantha, my son is coming soon. Explanation given by Father Mark Goring, as I received this message, I felt God the Father with great love for all humanity. It was sweet but I was saddened by the little response that is faithful remnant he has from us. He was distressed and concerned for his children, asking us to please be as his faithful remnant, the support of our other brothers and sisters on the day of the illumination of consciences. I felt to a certain extent a desperation for the little response he has from us. I felt very sad to feel the feeling of God the Father in my heart. Therefore, I ask you as a faithful remnant that we fulfill the task that he as a loving Father gives us so that through our prayers many souls may be saved and converted on the day of the illumination of consciences. He trusts us as a faithful remnant and we must not disappoint the trust he has in us. Therefore, let us unite in one heart as he says let us beat in unison with the heart of the Most Holy Trinity and let us make with love for humanity these prayers that he asks us to make for the salvation and conversion of souls. I also want to tell you about a vision that a friend of mine who has a cynical had. He was in prayer in front of the Blessed Sacrament when he saw how the stems of some flowers were joining one after the other intertwining and forming a great thick stem from which big and very thick thorns were coming out. God gave him to understand with that vision that those stems are us and that with the prayer united in one heart as a faithful remnant we are a very strong unity and nothing can penetrate us nor finish us because we are very strong therefore as a faithful remnant let us unite in prayer praying at the same time the same prayers at the same hour to form stalks that intertwine with each other and form a unit of stalks that are so strong that the enemy cannot do them any harm therefore little. Brothers it is so that united in the love of our hearts they also intertwine into one forming together with the prayers of protective heart that makes us immune to the attacks of the enemy as we will also unite ourselves to the heart of the Most Holy Trinity being so strong that nothing and no one can defeat us we look forward to these two weeks of prayer fasting and penance please make sure you want to share this message. With others this is a very serious call and make sure to give this video a like. God bless you all and see you in our next video.